Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I am Saptosh Mitra, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can install macOS High Sierra on your PC. And before we move further, make sure you have already configured your BIOS setting. Otherwise, your macOS High Sierra installer won't boot at all. I hope you have already did that, and that's why you are here. And now, without any further delay, let's get started. So now let's start the process. The first thing you have to do before turning on your CPU is to insert the USB drive into your computer and then turn your computer on. After that, press F12 button to boot into the boot manager. Now from here, select your USB drive where it's written UEFI and your USB name. And now wait until your computer boots into the Clover boot menu. It might take 2 to 3 minutes depending upon your computer and your USB drive. And now here select boot macOS install from install macOS high sierra. Now wait until you are booted into the installation screen of macOS high sierra. It might take about 20 to 30 minutes to boot into the uh, installation screen and again it depends upon the specification of the computer and the USB drive. For me I was using a USB 2.0 for which it took me about 20 minutes to boot into the uh, installation screen. One interesting thing is that the time for the first part of the installation depends upon the USB drive you are using and the second part depends upon the configuration of your PC like CPU, RAM and your SSD. So now we have successfully booted into the installation screen of macOS High Sierra and now from here select disk utility and click on continue. Now from here select your drive on which you are going to install the macOS High Sierra and uh, if you can't see your drive or you can't format then click on the view uh, icon above the list of the devices. Now select the drive and click on erase. Now name your device and one more thing if you are using a SSD then format it as APFS and if you are using a hard disk then format it as macOS extended journal. Now click on done and close disk utility. Now after that select install macOS and click on continue. Again click on continue and now select agree now select your drive on which you are going to install the macOS and click on install now the installation has started and it might take around 20 minutes maybe and during the installation process your computer will reboot several times and each and every time you have to boot from your USB drive or else your computer will not boot you say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way, you think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame, oh some things never change, never change, oh. you think I would look pretty, on your arm once you cover now here press f12 
and select your USB drive from the boot menu. Stop asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools tread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close now here, be careful selecting the boot options. Here select boot macOS installed from macOS. Now again the installation will resume. The signs we've had enough of the whole damn thing that we got going. You hold the strings without me knowing. Why do I have to suffer through the thinking? Why do I have to be now? This time you don't have to boot from your USB drive because now the Clover bootloader will now automatically boot from your SSD. And here make sure that you are selecting boot macOS from macOS. And here as you can see we have successfully booted into the welcome screen of macOS High Sierra. Now select the language and click on continue again continue continue now select don't transfer any information now and then continue here i would recommend you to skip this part for now and now click on agree and just create a computer account and click on continue and just finish the process And here we are on the desktop of macOS High Sierra and now just quickly complete the setup of your keyboard layout. And as you can see we have successfully installed the macOS High Sierra version 10.13.6. But we have not finished yet. There is one more step to complete. Now open your external USB drive and open post install folder. Now from there open multi -beast. Go to quick start and select the option which you have selected in Unipaste during making the bootable USB drive and then click on drivers and go to audio and here you have to select the chipset which is present in your motherboard and for that you must know the model number of your chipset mine was alc1220 so i am selecting that now go to disk and here select intel generic ahci sata and now make sure that fake smc is uh, checked and core graphics fix up aka whatever green and null cpu power management is also checked and now in the network section here also you must know your network card which uh, card your motherboard is using and just select that card in my case i was using intel mossy ethernet 2.4.0 now in usb select usb inject all 
remove XHCI USB port limit and third party USB 3.0. Then directly go to customize. And here if you are using an integrated graphics then select Intel HD 6XX or if you are using any other graphics cards such as AMD or Nvidia then select the options as per your choice. And now in system definition select iMac then select the iMac model whose hardware specs is closest to your PC specs and then go to build and click on install. This might take 2-3 to three minutes to complete. Now close multi-beast and reboot your computer. Now you can enable all the drives which you have disabled before installing the macOS High Sierra by going into BIOS and then restart your computer. And now the macOS will boot automatically but if you want to boot Windows then you have to select boot microsoft efi from efi within 3 seconds or else it will boot into macOS by default And finally the macOS High Sierra is ready to use. Now you can continue installing your favorite apps and softwares. I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you have some question feel free to post the comments. And also if you want to support to grow this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Everybody ask me how I know. I smiled at them and said she told me so. Everybody ask me how I know.